China has expressed concerns about the possibility of a trilateral summit with Japan and South Korea following a joint call by the two nations to address growing security threats in Asia with the United States. Analysts suggest that China's response to the improving relations between Japan and South Korea is a reflection of its growing concern about the emergence of a military alliance between China's two neighbors and Washington. China's foreign ministry spokesman Wang Wenbin said that China, Japan, and South Korea should work together to maintain the political foundation of bilateral relations and commit to the stable, healthy, and sustainable development of trilateral cooperation. Chinese officials, including Beijing's ambassador to Seoul Xing Haiming, expressed support for the resumption of the three-way leadership gathering in March, which had been suspended since December 2019 due to a dispute over compensation for Japan's colonial use of Korean forced labor. Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida concluded a two-day visit to Seoul on Monday, returning a trip South Korean President Yoon Suk-yeol made to Tokyo in March, signaling a thaw in relations that had long been strained over history and territorial issues. Experts on regional affairs at Beijing's Tsinghua University, including Liu Jiangyong, said that it remained to be seen how long the rapprochement between Japan and South Korea would last, but their close military and security ties with the U.S. were deeply worrying. Liu Jiangyong also stated that the strengthening of the U.S.-Japan-South Korea security ties was clearly aimed at countering China, Russia, and North Korea, and that the warming Japan-South Korea ties might impede China's efforts to improve trilateral cooperation and have negative implications on China's bilateral ties with both countries. During his visit to Seoul, Kishida fell short of offering a new apology over the contentious forced labor issue during Japan's 1910-45 colonial rule of the Korean Peninsula. Instead, he said his government inherited the stance of earlier administrations, some of which had issued apologies. Yoon said unresolved historical issues should not mean that no forward steps could be taken to deepen ties. Beijing is increasingly wary of its two neighbors' warming ties and their strategic pivot towards Washington, although China was barely mentioned on the trips. The U.S. is set to continue to push for a trilateral military alliance while trying to alienate South Korea's relations with China, which have been hit by a spate of diplomatic rows and economic sanctions over the years.